Adio just launched a new AI feature that might be the best AI feature I've seen in a CRM period. It's called an AI field, and it lets you use AI to summarize records, classify them, and even use an AI agent that goes off and does research all on its own and brings that back into Adio. So in this video, I'll show you how we're using the new Adio AI field to literally research and classify records, and then use automations to bring that into Airtable where we can update these records in bulk. So to use Adio's new AI field, it's actually really simple. If you go to any table view and just scroll to the right and hit add a column, when you click create new attribute, you'll see all of these AI autofill options. What I found incredibly powerful is the research agent. So the research agent is one where you can go into this field and give it some guidance and it will go off and literally do a bunch of research with AI and then come back with whatever it is that you want. So in this use case, I want to ask it to basically determine if one of these companies is an AI company or not. So imagine my ICP was, I was selling to other AI companies, but what I can do is have this research agent take these instructions. So determine whether this company is an artificial intelligence company or not and classify them as AI or not. Now you'll notice here, you do have to be very specific with these agents. If you tell them something somewhat vague at all, you're not going to get the results you want. And so really, really spell out exactly what you want. But if you do that, you can go ahead and create this field. And I've already done it here, so I'll just discard this one. But basically this AI company field. And there it is, that's really it. So now if I take something like OpenAI and have this run, it'll confirm that I wanna use the credits there. It'll think about this for a little bit and it'll determine it's an AI company, which is awesome. If I go to Home Depot as an example, which is very much not an AI company and run this same request, the AI will go off, it'll do a little research, it'll think about it, and then it'll realize this is not an AI company. There you go. So as crazy as that AI field is on its own, what's even more powerful is when you think about how you can connect that to other automations and other tools. For example, you might want to go to workflows, create a new one that triggers whenever a specific attribute is updated. So in this case, that AI field that we just created. And what we might want to do is say, whenever that AI field gets updated, add that record to a list. So let's add it to an AI specific list. And then obviously things can kind of go from there. But even beyond that is what you can do when you connect an AI field like this to another tool like Airtable. So as much as we love Adio, certain people on the team just prefer to work out of other tools like Airtable and Notion. They just need the companies or the deals that they care about. So in this case, I'll show you how we can connect just those AI companies just the ones that we care about here that were classified with this new AI field into Airtable using a tool called WhaleSync. That way our team can make updates that are super quick and have them sync back into Adio. So to do that, we use our own tool. It lets you take tools like Adio and two-way sync them with spreadsheets like Airtable, Notion, and Google Sheets. And here you can see I've already connected Adio and Airtable. All I need to do is add a table mapping. So I'm going to tell WhaleSync that I would like to connect that company's table in Adio with a company's table in Airtable. We also will create a table mapping between those two, and then let me map the fields across them as well. So let's say here we wanna map whether it's an AI company or not. Maybe we want to map the name. We can do that as well. And we can even use WhaleSync's auto map feature to just map all of the fields that match across these two. Once I've done that, I'll wanna probably add a filter here. So like we talked about, I might wanna say only map the companies where AI company equals AI. And that's really it. WhaleSync is now set up to connect with a two-way sync, all of those AI Adio companies into Airtable. So all I have to do is hit save and continue, prepare an initial sync, start to scan my records where WhaleSync will find those companies. And because I've set up that filter, it will show me exactly what's been filtered in and filtered out. That's perfect. That looks like exactly what we want. So as I turn this on, WhaleSync's going to create those three records in Airtable. And now we will have an actual two-way sync that combines just the records I need. So if I pop over to Airtable here and open up my company's table. You can see instantly that all of these records are shown up and we've got the three AI ones in a good place. I can use Airtable's interfaces feature. So I can go ahead and build a little workflow tool for myself and my team to review these records. So here I've set up just a very simple one where every AI company that comes in will show up in this list. I can quickly review it and I can update it. So if I wanted to say, oh, you know what? Actually, Happy Robot is based in San Francisco. I can make that update directly in my Airtable app 
with WhaleSync. WhaleSync will notice that change and sync it back into Adio. And now updates are flowing in both directions. In summary, Adio's new AI field is game changing if you're an automation or CRM nerd like we are, especially when you can connect it with tools like Airtable. So you can build pretty much anything you want, all AI powered and all automated with two-way sync. So we're super excited to see what you end up building with it. Let us know in the comments if you found another AI workflow that you'd love to show off and we'll be in touch soon.